Alright guys, today we're at Mayaka River State Park with the boys and we're here to check it out. This is a very large state park. It offers all the amenities, camping, uh, overnight for RV, hookups, the whole nine yards. So we're hoping to see some cool stuff today and share our experiences with you. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hey, hey, look here, look at, look at, look at, and it's boys. Oh. Yeah. Mom, look how many boys are flying. I know that might be a king mama. No. Yeah, that's water. Hey, you're not allowed oh. to swim with the alligators. It's kind of cool. Yeah. We're along the trail, we found some turkey Daddy. vultures sitting on the bank out there. Daddy. Turkey vultures. Daddy, Daddy, yep. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there is a little baby blue heron out there on the, I guess it's out in the middle of a little lake that's along the trail here. And there are turkey vultures everywhere today. And it is a beautiful January day in Florida. It's probably the best time of year to hit the state parks because bugs are almost non-existent. You come here in the summertime, you're going to need lots of mosquito repellent. But I will have to say there's lots of wildlife out today. The temperatures are great. It's about 60 degrees. It's actually a great day for a walk in the woods. Joseph, don't step on the dead fish! Oh! oh Joseph, step on the dead fish! All right, check out the alligators on the other bank. We just spotted them along our little hike here. And here we came across another alligator on the bank. You can see them over there. It's a All right, let's head back. Hey, Joseph, you having fun on the hike? Oh, uh, yes. John, are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Fish is stinky. I don't know if you can see it off in the distance, but that's where we saw the alligators from the road bridge. But if you just take this little hike, which is the parking lot, just past that bridge, the gators are just right up on the bank. And you don't have to sit there with a crowd of people, and you can get a really great view of the wildlife. And if you look right over here, on that bank right over there, there's some turkey vultures. They're even soaring up above. It's a great little hike, and it's been full of all kinds of sights and stuff for the kids to see. I have my... Okay, so I want to show you guys this really quick. If you look behind me, right over there, that's the bridge where we saw the alligators. And the issue with that is if you have kids, is there is traffic on the bridge, so you really need to be mindful. But if you just come across the bridge, you're gonna come in the entrance of the park, you come across that bridge, you're gonna see this parking lot right afterwards, right here, and there's a little trail. You go down the little trail, and there's all kinds of wildlife and none of the crowds. All right, we are here at the nature trail. It says it's about a 40 minute walk. And off we go. All right guys, we're on the nature walk and canopy walk, which is a really cool thing here. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what the canopy walk is until we get there, but uh, I'm gonna try to show you some more wildlife and sights along the trail. And John has made a new friend. I don't know if you can see him back there. John, what's your friend's name? Fanzilla. Fanzilla. So off we go. Lizards, birds, and insects find them a convenient yeah, oasis and secluded hiding yeah, place. And, and I found addition to the Stafford family. All right, look at this. We've come up on a cool the, little walkway. What are you doing, Vincent? Yeah. I can tell you in the summer months, this is a wetland. It fills up with water. It's dry right now. But it, yeah, it's the dry season, so it is dry now. That's what Florida got. Oh, you can see some wading birds out there. If you look way out, there's a snowy egret way out there. One of the techniques my wife and I use with the kids is we encourage them to read the signs along the trail. And it's a great way to reinforce their reading skills that they're learning in school while out having fun. And I 
encourage you to do the same thing because you'll be surprised that what reading those little tidbits along the way will do for them later on. So it's just something to think about. What's this tree called? The dinner tree. The dinner tree. And why do they call it that, Jay? Because the tree was young, a yellow belly sub sucker. Uh, what did the what did the sap sucker do? Um, made many small holes in the bark. Oh yeah, and the bark, the holes would fill with sap. Bugs would get stuck, and the bird would come back and eat them. Oh yeah. That's cool, huh? Yeah. What does it say? Where are all the animals? Most animal creatures are not miserable. They sleep by day and, and hunt by night. Oh, so the animals here, since it's daytime, what are the animals probably doing? Wanted to share how cool the hammock, the treetops look on this section of the trail. Are you guys going to go? Yeah. I mean, the treetops in this on this section of the trail are just absolutely gorgeous. And with that blue Florida sky in the background. Daddy, go. We're already here. Are you here yet? I don't know if you guys can see this, but the tree has like red hair kind of looking to it. It's probably some type of uh, air plant or fern or something along those lines. But it's got this kind of red color to it and it looks so cool. I want to share a little more of the scenery here in this bed. It's just so beautiful. I got this. Airplanes, eye for trees. Butterfly, algae, and supper fern. Serpent fern. Shoe spring fern. Grassy leaf airplane and Spanish moss. Oh, that's cool, Jay. How do hammock plants cap with... Can you guys be quiet? How do hammock plants cap with oh, meager with meager sunlight, flood, and drought. No. Uh, Apa trees live in the treetops, collect, drool, and store rain for dry times. Look for eight different algae epiphytes along. along this trail. Oh, well, that's good reading, Joe. Uh, look at this cool bridge we're walking up on. Nobody calls it down. No one. Yeah, careful. Don't walk and again, it's ground. dry season See, in Florida because no it's January. So you're trading off on the bugs ground. for no water anywhere. Cool. You can see this is obviously an area that in the summertime is going to uh, flood. Come on, so it's kind of cool to Bad see Zilla. it. Okay, here is more of those plants with the red little stems. I'm going to try to get it so that the sun isn't is in uh, blowing it out. And you can see it's right there in the center of the frame. They are so pretty and a lot of the plants here have them. There must be a type of air plant. And they are just absolutely beautiful. This is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it, but the palm tree, I'm going to try to lighten up the exposure a little. But the palm tree has grown over the branch of the oak tree. Which is kind of cool. You don't see that very often. That's bird poop. It's, it's, uh, here's another angle. Yeah, of that yeah, palm it's tree. You can see it here. It's and it's just grown right up and over that. Branch. I can't climb. Looking for the light. How cool is that? And just in case you don't think the kids are having fun, they're having a blast out here. It's a great way to get some little exercise, burn some energy. Is Franzilla doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's all right. I have her. Oh, I see that. So here's pro here's probably my favorite part of my Aka River State Park, which is their canopy walk. And if you see here, it's this big, huge tower. You climb up there, and there's a, like a little suspension bridge, and it gives you a treetop view of the forest. So let's climb up there and check it out. All right, guys. A little tip when you're here: only four people can go out can at you a go time. Now? All right, how cool is this? You can feel the spring of the bridge. It's a great view of the we're hammock. Not there yet. No, we're not all the way across. You feel this bridge moving? Wow, how cool is this? 
I mean, this really Dad. puts you hey, Dad, duck. in the trees. Dad, you're going to hit your head. Duck. Oh, I got a duck? Yes. All right, we'll duck. Me and the camera ducked. Oh, and there are the big guys who made it across. Here's All right, where's one. Johnny? Is he coming? <laughs> Good. All right, Johnny, come on. You can make it, bud. All right, now we're going to climb the tower. It doesn't sit like that. All the way to the top. Okay, this is the view from the top of the tower looking out over the canopy here, the Mayaka River State Park. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the telescope. Just look at that view, guys. It's quite a walk up here, but well worth it. You can see the bridge heads out to the first tower we climbed up over that way. This park has so much to offer. Um, if you drive far enough in here, they even have uh, boat tours and tram tours. It is the weekend and it is a pretty busy day. So I want to walk you over here so we can get a kind of a better view of what they have. You can see the main drive comes in over there. This is where you would get on the boat tours. And in this building up here, they have a gift shop um, and other amenities. This is a great state park. There's over 40 miles of hiking. We've only really scratched the surface. There are pavilions, obviously, for barbecuing and picnic tables and all that other kind of fun stuff. So if you have time, you're in Southwest Florida, Mayaka River State Park is definitely a place that you're going to want to try out.